Hi everyone, I'm Brad, this is Guiding Lights, and we're going to take you on a little trip. We're going from Toronto Airport to Istanbul, then on to Kuala Lumpur. We took uh, Turkish Airlines, and we were in business class, and we want to sort of show you how the flight was all about. Um, come along and enjoy the flight with me. It was a very comfortable flight, and uh, here's our destination that we ended up at in Kuala Lumpur. We're overlooking city right here and that is actually Kuala Lumpur behind me there. Anyway, come on along and I'll show you the flight. Here Canada Lounge at YYZ. A little dark. Food doesn't seem to be so good. But there's beer. So everything's A-OK. -okay. <laughs> YYZ is a little busy today, but here we go, we're boarding. <laughs> well, I have to say, these videos are not easy. I really envy the people that make these videos all the time and uh, they're really successful on YouTube. Something I'm not sure that I could do. Um, you're really kind of missing out on living in the moment when you're making a video. But I hope everybody likes it and gets some reward from it and that would truly be my reward. Um, if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a few tips, tell you how long the flights were, layovers, things like that. And if you get any kicks or information that you think is valuable out of this video, Please like and subscribe it if you can. It'll help me um, maybe make a few more for you because we're planning on doing quite a bit of traveling around Asia and maybe we'll share it with you if we get a few more likes and subscribes. Okay, thanks very much.
and uh, I don't know what this is. Will it be honey?
So that's our trip. Um, the trip itself was quite a long one. It's um, not easy getting halfway around the world. And uh, we've done this trip on two different directions. This time, as you can see, we went through Istanbul over to Kuala Lumpur. Um, other times we've come over to Kuala Lumpur, we've gone through Taipei and then to Kuala Lumpur. So one is one way around the world and the other is the other way around the world. And just to let you know, it's basically 20 hours of flying. Uh, on this trip, we did 10 hours from Toronto to Istanbul, and then another 10 hour layover in Istanbul, and then another 10 hours from Istanbul to Kuala Lumpur. If you go the other way around the world, you can go from Toronto to Taipei, which is a 15 hour flight, and then from Taipei to Kuala Lumpur is five hours. So either way, it's going to be uh, 20 hours in the air, guys. But um, uh, that's uh, quite a flight, but hopefully it's going to be great once we're over here. got to tell you, the flights we have coming up are really great ones too. To get around Asia once you're over here, it's really, really cheap to go in different places around. Um, we're planning on going to Bali for our first trip. We're going to spend about three weeks there. Then we'll come back to Kuala Lumpur for a while. This is my home base, my wife's family's house. And then um, after that, maybe we're going to do Thailand. We're considering doing Vietnam and maybe Australia even too as well. So um, we'll bring you along for those rides as long as we uh, get a little bit of support from you guys. Uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and we'll try and keep on making these videos and show you all around the places. Maybe we'll show you a few of the destinations as well as not just the flights, okay? Because got to say, the flights are not the highlight of a trip like this. It's being here that's the highlight of a trip like this. And this is where I'm hanging out right now in Kuala Lumpur. Um, you see on that gate there in the back, we often have some monkeys that come by and uh, visit us. They've affectionately named the head monkey Jack. So when Jack comes around, Jack gets what he wants because he's kind of a tough guy. <laughs> um, Hopefully we'll see you on the next flight down in Bali, okay? Take care. Thanks for visiting.